If Mona, as we are gathered here, we are reminded, all of us received with shock about the death of General Okara. And as we bury him, we get reminded how we have continuously lost senior people in the UPDF in a similar way. We are reminded how the late Colonel Okara Leng died. How the late Colonel Walter Ochoara died. And in a similar manner, we also we are also reminded how Colonel Anywa died. And today, our brother and mentor is lying before us. This is something that gives a lot of pain to the people of this region. But we remain hopeful that God the Almighty will see the pain and will give us his attention. We do not know what happened because we are human. There are things we cannot do and there are things that God has to do himself. Our prayer is that God will turn and look at us during this period of pain. And as I conclude, Chief Mona, there are a few things I would like to mention about General. My colleagues, the local government leaders, will agree with me that from the time General Okera became the vice chair of the Operation Well Creation, this level of dedication, this level of commitment, the kind of spirit he exhibited, gave a lot of hope to the local government. Just about a month ago, we had a bit of a challenge in the district. I gave him a call. Fortunately, he was in Amuro. He said, Mr. Chairman, I am going to be in your office within 15 minutes. And indeed, with his entire commander in the district and the region, he was in our office. We had a discussion and he kept on emphasizing that this is what we are going to use to make this country achieve the vision 20, 2020 of uh, middle income status. That shows the kind of dedication he had. It is therefore our prayer that government gives full attention to the kind of work he has started and the family is supported. It is also important to say this. When he was sent to represent this country in the fight against Ebola, we are all aware his dedication and contribution made him get an international recognition. We thought, Chief Mona, that on return, he would be given a lot more recognition, including promoting him. Unfortunately, that never came. I am told in the army, even when somebody dies, sometimes based on the performance, promotion can be given posthumously. Our prayer, Chief Mona, is that the army considers uh, giving a special place and a special recognition to our late brother, General Keta. We also know that as a champion, the effort to transform this part of the country through agriculture under the Operation Well Creation. He deliberately established a farm in Amuro to develop and make it a demonstration farm. And he was doing that single-handedly. We do not know whether his dream will be pursued and something will come out of it. Our prayer, Chief Mona, is that the family is fully supported so that this farm is turned into a model farm that can help farmers from different places come to benefit. We also want to appeal, as we bury our brother today, we have senior sons and daughters who are serving in the UPD. We are concerned that sometimes what we hear in as far as how they are treated is concerned is not the best. 
There are some of them who have taken decades in one position without being promoted. I do not know how the army operates, but as someone who is concerned, I need to express it. I need to express, it is our prayer, that our sons are also motivated because we know they are very hardworking people. This I say as a concerned citizen, and I'm not afraid to mention that. I would like to give the example of Major Isaac Ojuil. There are so many commanders. Colonel Achoga, a very senior officer. There are so many, I do not need to mention. These are things that we have to talk about as citizens. This is something we have to mention. Lastly, we also pray that the bereaved family is fully supported, but there are civil widows. You can imagine the wife to the late Colonel Alain, the kind of situation she's faced with. She has been thrown out of her house. She has gone to different offices. It is painful when we have families who are left behind, families of fallen heroes who keep on suffering and nobody gives them attention. This is something we have to talk about. I do not want to take a lot of time. There are commitments we have made as local government and we are going to pursue them and we pray that government gives whatever consideration it takes to make sure that the family is supported. May it all rest in peace.